Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another news. The former United Kingdom Prime Minister Tony Blair arrived in Nigeria on Tuesday and visited the President elect Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu. Blair's visit to Nigeria comes about a week before Tinubu's inauguration, which is scheduled for the 29th of May. But the reason for his visit is not yet clear. However, it is believed that the visit of the of Blair, who served as the UK Prime Minister between 1997 and 2007 may not be unconnected to Ashiwa Dubola Ahmed Tinubu's inauguration. Earlier on Tuesday, reporters reported that United States President Joe Biden, in a statement released on the White House website on Monday, announced a non- nine-member delegation to attend Tinubu's inauguration. The statement said the delegation, which was led by Secretary of the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, Marcia L. Fuge, represents the commitment of the United Nations to strengthen ties and maintain diplomatic relations with Nigeria. Other presidential delegations include David Green, Charge the Affairs, United Embassy in Abuja, the Honorable Sidney Kamla Jadov, United States Representative, California, the Honorable Marisa Lago, under the Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, United States Department of, of Commerce, General Michael E. Lagley, and Commander of the United States African Command, the Honorable Enoch G. Bong, e. Bong. It was reported that Tony Blair visited a week before Tinobu's inauguration, which is scheduled to be on the 28th, 29th of May, 2023. Sir Tony Blair is a British former politician who served as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom from 1997-2007 and leader of the Labour Party from 1994-2007. to He served as the leader of the opposition from 1994 to 1997 and had various shadow cabinet posts from 1984 to 1994. Blair was the member of parliament for Shedfield from 1983 to 2007. He is the the second longest serving prime minister in modern history after Margaret Thatcher is the longest serving Labour politician to have held the office. Blair attended Independent School Faith College, studied law at St. John College, Oxford University, and later qualified to be as to be a barrister. He became involved in the Labour Party and elected to the House of Commons in 1983 for the Shedfield constituency in County Durham. As a backbencher, Blair supported moving the party to the political centre of British politics. He was appointed to Neil's Nick Knox Shadow Cabinet in 1988 and was appointed Shadow Home Secretary by John Smith in 1992. Following the Smith's death in 1994, Blair won the leadership election to succeed him and as leader, Blair began a historic rebranding for the party which became known as the New Labour. Blair became the youngest Prime Minister in the 20th, 20th century after winning the 1997 general election, Labour's longest, la- largest general election victory in history. During his first term, Blair enacted constitutional reforms and significantly increased public spending on health care education while also introducing controversial market-based reforms in these areas. In addition, Blair saw the introduction of a minimum wage tuition fee for higher education, constitutional reforms such as devolution in Scotland and Wales, and extensive expansion of LGBT rights and significant progress in Northern Ireland peace progress 
with the passing of the landmark Good Friday Agreement on foreign policies, Blair oversaw British in interventions in Kosovo in 1999 and Syria Leone in 2000, which was generally perceived as successful. Blair was re-elected re as the second landslide in 2001. Three months after his second term, Blair's premiership was shaped by the September 11 terrorist attack, resulting in the start of the war on Toro. On terror. Blair supported the foreign policy of the George W. Bush administration by ensuring that the British armed forces participated in the war in Afghanistan to overthrow the Taliban, destroy Al Qaeda, and capture Osama bin Laden. In 2003, Blair supported the invasion of Iraq, and British armed forces participated participate in the Iraq, Iraq war claiming that Saddam Hussein regime possessed weapons of mass destruction, no WMDs were never, f were never found in Iraq. Blair was elected for a third term in 2005, in part thanks to the UK's strong economic performance, but with a substantially reduced majority, in part thanks to the United Kingdom's involvement in the Iraq war. Blair was pushed for more systemic public sector reforming during his third term and brokered a settlement to, the re to restore power sharing to Northern Ireland. The Afghanistan and Iraq wars continued and in 2006, Blair announced the, that he would resign within a year. He resigned the party leadership on the 24th of June 2007 and as the Prime Minister on the 27th of June 2007, and was succeeded by jo Gordon Brown, his chancellor. After leaving office, Blair gave up his seat and was appointed special envoy of the Quartet on the Middle East, a diplomatic post w which he held f f until 2015. He has been the executive chairman of the Tony Blair Institute for Global Change since 2016 and has made occasional political interventions. He was knighted by Elizabeth II in 2022. At various points in his premiership, Blair was among the most popular and most unpopular politicians in the United Kingdom history. As Prime Minister, he achieved the highest recorded approval ratings during his first few years in office, but also one of the lowest such ratings during and after the Iraq War. Although his critics accused aim of lying, deception, and eroding trust in British politics. Blair oversaw notable electoral successes and reforms and is usually rated as above average in the historical ranking of British Prime Ministers. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your opinion and your thoughts via the comment section below and I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.